Alright, I'm gonna work on the seahorse some more. I don't know if y'all had it on earlier. Video didn't save, but dreaming. This is a work I'm gonna do digitally. I'm uh not gonna keep all this fine art in the final version. I'm working on now, but I may use it later, so I'm just getting everything using Clip Studio Pro for the line art. I use that as like an illustrator replacement. Right now I'm not really using the pen tool much, just mainly doing the curve tool for this. Since these lines aren't extremely complex. I will render this in Photoshop and in Corel Painter after. But for now, I'm just getting some baseline art done with my pencil sketch underneath. I think I want that more pointy. And I'm still learning my, or still working on my setup here with the uh, Twitch. First day trying to stream. They may sound weird. I change this music track. Castlevania music. I don't think I want that line as pointy. There we go. Do it more better. This is a seahorse I'm going to render as detailed as I can more than usual. Um, my work's been getting more and more better on the rendering lately. You can see it on artiststudio.us. Um, anyhow, this is going to go on Sazzle on some shirts and stuff. My macro is not working. so far. This is my under drawing that on paper, which is what I like to do. This is the line art. I'm redoing it digitally for just little crisper lines, a little eyeball which is temporary to look at. And about I don't know, all these tentacles. Most work I'll say 50% through. So that's a lot of work doing those tentacles with the, this process. And this is the quickest part of the whole thing even though this is time consuming. Coloring and rendering is the most time consuming though. I don't always like to stick to the lines I have. Sometimes I change it up. Issues. My curve tool setting a little early. I got to figure out what that is, but I don't feel like troubleshooting it right now, so I'm just dealing with it. I really like 
using Clip Studio Pro for this type of stuff, which is Mega Studio. They just changed the name in America. I got a free update out of it. And normally, I have to pay, so and I I do support paying for art software. I mean, if you can't afford it, then you know get GIMP. But uh, I, I support these companies. Sans Serif's been real good with with the software in America. Rail and Photoshop. And Photoshop, you can get for 10 bucks a month now. It's cheaper than upgrading it regularly, anyhow. So I still have my CS3 installed and it still works also. Let's hit CS3 just in case Pout ever messes up or something. I have it. I see a lot of artists that use stolen software you ever get to where you're selling things art prints you check your licenses on stuff you might be in trouble I don't know if I like that, huh? using a Huion tablet. Huion Pro, comparable to Intos Pro, maybe four. 
that only about 80 bucks. It works pretty good. Wacom isn't the only company out there anymore. Hey, Wacom's great. It's also expensive. If you're looking for a cheap alternative, go Huey on. Pretty decently made. You do have to put a battery in the pen, like, once or twice a year. more when I render. Phone rings, probably politician. I'll come back and 